welcome back to another video. So, today's video, I'm going to be doing a book haul because this month I might have gone a bit, you know, a bit much with the book buying. <laughs> so, you know, because it's almost December and I won't be able to buy any in December because it's Christmas time and so my money has to go on other people. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to treat myself this month. And that's exactly what I did, but I might have done it a bit too much. So I'm going to be showing you all the books that I have brought recently. Okay, so there's actually a lot here. So I'm just, I don't know, I don't even know where to start. But I'm going to start off with this. So I brought the, uh, the Folk of the Air trilogy. And I am planning on doing a reading vlog for this because a couple of months ago I actually started The Cruel Prince. But it just wasn't the time and I think I got like a hundred, just just above 100 pages in and it wasn't the time for me i wasn't enjoying it and so i put it down and i was like you know what i'm going to read it another time and i'm actually going to do a reading vlog on the whole series so that is my plan uh so i decided to actually get the paperbacks because i did start it on my kindle and they're so pretty like i've actually already took them out of this box and like so cute love the um covers of these and they go nicely together i think so yeah i can't wait to actually properly get into these because i've heard people say so many good things about it and with the first hundred pages it wasn't that i wasn't enjoying it it was just wasn't the time for me i didn't fancy a fantasy so yeah that is the only reason so there uh, should be a reading vlog coming soon for the series Okay, the next one I got is the mixtape. Now, this I got because it was $4.99 on Amazon. And I was like, what a deal. Because I'm pretty sure I saw this um, for, was it $8.99 originally? And I have been wanting to read it for a long time. Now, originally I bought it thinking it was a thriller for some reason. And I don't know where I got that from. But from what I read on the back when I got it, it's, it's a romance. So I don't know where I got that from. But... I must have got it from somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not disappointed though, because as you probably know, I am a romance reader. So, it's fine. But it was just shocking when I was reading the back. I was like, oh, this is a thriller. What's it about? And I read it. I was like, yeah, this is not a thriller. Um, but, yeah, I, I think I heard, like, one or two reviews on this about a year ago. I completely forgot about the book. And then I saw it on Amazon. I was like... I have been wanting to read this. It's been on my uh, TBR for a couple of months now, so hopefully I can finally get to it now. Okay, next one I got is from Luke of Love by Maris Parton. Now this I got because it's cheaper on Amazon. So I'm pretty sure that uh, this was picked up by a publisher and that is why it's cheaper. Uh, there was three books of um, Maris Parton's that were cheaper than normal because normally her uh, books are like 16, 17 pound, whereas this was nine pound. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it while it's cheap, you know. Um, and I've heard some good things about this. And I'm pretty sure it's about, is it about ice skaters? Yeah, I think it's about ice skaters. And I've, I've been wanting to read it for a long time. And I feel like this is my time. The next one I brought was The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. So, if you've been with me for a while, then you would know that I read this at the beginning of the year. Um, and I did a reading vlog all about it and I loved it so much that I was like I need the paperback and I haven't got to buy the paperback until now and I saw it at, at the works for three pound three pound I was like I'm gonna get this like that is such a good price for this paperback and so I had to get it now unfortunately I don't like the fact that it's got this on it because uh, it says as seen on TikTok but you know what it's fine um and i'm pretty sure the cover did get changed because this looks different um but yeah so i am wanting to do a reread but i think it's too soon because i only read it at the beginning of the, uh, this year but maybe next year the next one i brought was the dead romantics by ashley posted as i say i'm sorry for saying that wrong now this i have actually read and there should be a read and vlog up after this video and you'll see all my thoughts but i brought it mainly for the cover and recently in october mainly i heard people saying that um it was a good book and that they enjoyed it and so i thought why not and again it was three pound on amazon and so i thought what's the harm you know so yes that is the next one i got and it's about florence and she's a ghost writer and um she can also see ghosts and so she meets up with 
the person she's ghostwriting for is an editor and then all of a sudden she sees him as a ghost that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> so yeah interesting from what it says in the back okay the next books i got was the slam series by colleen hoover these are the new covers now there's an issue with this and i think you will all understand so i got slammed obviously which is the first book then i got point of retreat which is the second book and then i got this girl so on the works website it showed that for 14 pound i would get the black covers of these and i wasn't bothered what covers i got to be honest i just wanted the series so i bought it thinking i was gonna get the black covers because that's what it showed but no it came with the first two books being the new covers and then this one being the black cover but don't know if you know this, but with the Slam series, it, when you put the covers, how am I going to do this? <laughs> but when you put the covers together, it makes a butterfly, right? So imagine this girl here, it'd be a butterfly. But unfortunately, I got the black one of this girl, so I'm going to have to buy the new covers of for this one to make the butterfly do you want to like do you get what i'm trying to like like why <laughs> uh but i'm not bothered because the, the covers still look good together so yeah i still really like the covers together and i'm not too bothered about it but i would have just like it to complete the butterfly and so i'm gonna have to maybe find like a second hand version or something of um the new cover of this girl or hopefully i can find it cheap somewhere Okay, and then all the books I'm going to show you now is what I got today <laughs> um, in the post. So, the first one I got was The Atlas Six. Now, this isn't the kind of book that I would normally read, but recently I've been hearing so many good reviews about it. And so, I thought I'd get it. And I love the cover. Is it bad to buy a book just for the cover? I don't know. But I love the cover. And yes, it is like over 500 pages. So, it might take me a while to get into. I actually don't know what this is about. But I've heard some people say that like they enjoy the quotes in this and stuff. But I recently um, saw a review from someone where they said that it's not that good. And it's like, but it's good for the vibes. Like, it's good for the aesthetics. So, I'm intrigued. But hopefully i can read it soon if you'd like a read on vlog of me reading this let me know um but yeah loving the cover though like how cute okay the next one i got was something wilder by christina lauren now i have been wanting to read this for a while it recently came out well not recently but it's like i'm pretty sure it's their newest release so i am intrigued i don't know what it's about though i haven't read the back but i thought i'll give it a go because again this was three pound at the works so why wouldn't i yeah the next one i got was you've reached sam this is actually shorter than i thought it would be like when i received it i was like whoa this is this is really short uh i love the cover like in real life the color contrasts and i'm pretty sure you can't see it as good on the camera but like how nice and i'm i've heard that you will cry at this book and i don't want to cry but maybe it'll be interesting uh so if you'd also like a reading vlog on this let me know from what i've heard it's about um this girl i'm gonna guess her name's julie from what i can see in the back and she has this boyfriend but her boyfriend uh passes away i think i want to say in a car accident but i don't think we actually know from the back yeah i don't know but and either way her boyfriend passes away and then she gets a phone call and this phone call is is from her boyfriend sam so it's 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 interesting like, I've never read anything quite like this before. And so, you know what? I kind of want to pick this up now. But I'm currently reading something, so I can't. But I can't wait until I can. The next one I brought was My Kid of Vacation by Tessa Bailey. I have read uh, It Happens One Summer and Hook, Line, and Single by Tessa Bailey. And I enjoyed those reads. So I thought that I would give this a go. But I've heard that people say that it wasn't as good. Like, they've read this and they're, like, not enjoyed it. So... It's kind of put me off, but I thought I've got to give it a go for myself. And most people are reading this at summertime. I don't know if there was a reason for that. Oh, I think it's because it has vacation in the title. Um, but yeah, I can't wait until I can finally get to this. I don't physically know what it's about, but I'm going to guess there's some kind of like a mystery in with it. Okay, and then the final books that I got is the first five but this is without the novellas of 
the shit out of me serious so this was 15 pound at the works for these books and that is a really good deal so if you don't know the shit me which i read recently uh then there is unravel me ignite me restore me and define defy me so i am actually in the middle of doing a reading vlog but obviously i'm not reading these back to back so i i haven't done anything with it uh but unfortunately with the shatter me i forgot to a vlog for it so i'm just gonna have to do like a sit down thing for it i hope you're looking forward to that for when it finally arrives to you but yeah i can't actually wait until i can finally finish the series but all the covers i actually like especially the first one so yes those are all the books um and i have pre-ordered i think it's king of wrath by anna huang is that right and so that should be coming to me 29th of november so that is a pre-order so those are all the books for this video i really hope you enjoyed this big book haul thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe if you want it's free and hope to see you all in my next video bye Thank you.